In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a MLA formatted document using Google Docs. First thing you should do with any Google Doc or document is name it properly. By default, you have an untitled document. So let's go ahead and name it. I'm going to use, for the purpose of this tutorial, my MLA essay. You would obviously like to use whatever you're going to title your particular essay. I'm going to click OK. Next, we need to verify that we have one inch margins for our document. So I'm going to click on File, come down to Page Setup, and verify that my margins have one, 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 and one. Once it's all set to one, click OK. An MLA formatted document requires Times New Roman font at size 12, but by default, Google Docs uses Arial size 11, so we need to change that. Come up to the formatting bar and click the down arrow next to where it says Arial. Come down to Times New Roman, and then come back up again to where it says font size 11, down arrow, and choose 12. Now we're going to insert an MLA formatted header. We do that by coming up to the menu bar here, clicking on insert, page number, top of page. And it's automatically going to put it in the upper right where we need it. You want to click to the left of the page number, hit this, and then type in your last name and spacebar once. Now click in the white area below the thin gray line and we're going to create an MLA formatted header. Heading. So you have this is the header, and this will be your heading. First we need to set our line spacing to double. MLA format requires double line spacing, so come up to the formatting bar right here where it says line spacing, down arrow, and double space. Then for our MLA heading you're going to type your first and last name, return, teacher, the name of your class, so in this example I'll use English CP1, hit return, and the date. And it has to be day, space, full month name, space, and the year. It can't be another format. It, it has to be exactly like this. It can't be short, right? It has to be the full month name formatted just like that. Then at the end, you're going to hit return. We're going to come up to our formatting bar. We want to center a line for our title. And this is where you would put the title of your paper. In this tutorial, I'm referring to mine as my MLA essay. I'm going to hit return. To begin typing, you want to be left aligned. Then tab once to get an indent. And you will start typing your paper, my MLA essay. Next, you're most likely going to need to cite some resources, so you will need a Works Cited page. So hit Return, and you're going to insert a page break. What this will do is create a second page where you will put your Works Cited. You can see that it automatically brings your header down. And as you type up here and your essay goes on to two, three, four, five pages, it will automatically push your Works Cited page down. In a future tutorial, I will show you how to format that Works Cited page. 